That was 11 years ago.
conditions were Amazing. so ideal. Yeah. Greatest high school performance ever. Did you, what were you thinking coming in? I mean, what um, was your goal? I was really nervous. And my goal was to just PR and hopefully win. Yeah. Any particular part of the course you really want to try and make a move on, make something, make a real improvement on over, over past outings here? Um, reservoir. Really? I was definitely reservoir ready reservoir, so I wanted to, wanted to help push myself on that. Were you able to hear the splits as you went along the way? Uh, no. But I saw my mile time and <laughs> what was it? What was your mouth? Uh, like five. Okay. Yeah. What were you looking for? I, I wasn't really looking at splits or anything. I just wanted to finish the PR and that's it. When you heard that fast split, what was your reaction as to what you needed to do to adjust from there? Was there an adjustment you needed uh, to do? I don't know. I Like I said, I didn't know what splits I needed to get to get a PR, so I just kept going. So you didn't back off when you were the first mile? Did you hear the announcer saying that you were closing in on, on 16 and you know, that you might be able to drink it? I, I didn't hear that. How does this correlate to for six weeks from now? Uh, I, I don't know. Were you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thinking at least course record coming in? No. Not even course record? What was your PR on the course? Uh, 16. So this is a 40 second improvement. That's not bad. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> so talk about Sir. the race itself. I mean, was there a Thank point you. in that race where you, could you tell at all at a point in that race when you were when you were going faster than you felt like that then you should? Could you feel your body going faster? Not, not really. Physically, Thank workouts you. and the races, how does this year compare to last year as far as how you feel during workouts, during races? Um, well, I've been, I, I was injured so I've had more time to get in the same. So I'm going to go to the last one because I had to take too much time off of, like, like I did last year. But that just came in in a little better shape than I had. Do you want to voice team next week? Or? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty amazing. Do, um, sir, how, how, do you, how do you compare to this? Because I know obviously you love this course so much, but how do you compare this to like when it happens? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, this is probably something by the end of by the end of your career, but to have it midway through your your third season. It's it's weird and scary. <laughs> what do you, what do you think about when you're out there? I mean, people are asking you questions about running faster. This is, is from your here? dad. He said, "Put it oh, on." Okay, <laughs> is it is there? You know, what's the limit here? Or did or does your mind think in terms of limits at all? Um. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I just I just try to go out in PR and I don't. Just, I don't know. I, sometimes I set limits. Just go run. Yeah, just go run. Cross me. They announced unofficially after first 16 flat 1601. What goes through your mind when you hear a time check? What goes through your mind? Wow. <laughs> Because I, I remember how stoked you were when you broke when, when you broke Jordan Parker. Right. And this is like way, way below that. I mean <laughs> are, you, are you still like not fully comprehending what it was going on? Definitely not. I don't understand what just happened. Yeah. Well let's take a step farther. Now that you ride at sixteen, the expectations for next year are, are gonna be the brain. Are you thinking that? No. <laughs> well, you know that's next. Nice. You think state right? I mean okay. You got section, the state still to go. Are you thinking records at that point, or again, just one? I want a PR. Okay. Every race is a PR. Yes. Great job. Thank you. So now that you've had some time to, to digest, I mean, tell me how, how, I mean, I know how elated you were when it happened, but just to really be able to process that time, I mean, how sweet is that? I, it still hasn't really sunk in, and I didn't realize it until going up Reservoir and my brother was yelling, you're gonna get second, because in my mind I was already kind of placing myself back, and then once he told me you can get second, it like woke me up, and then I was like, yeah, I can get second, I just gotta finish. Uh, I mean, you said that you always knew this race uh, what was there. Sophomore boys, second revolution in the valley. Training. Uh, and Second I mean, sophomore boys race at the starting when, line. When the race is going at that pace and it's such a quality field, you knew it was going to be there. But uh, but does this almost have you kind of 
ahead of your schedule and ahead of your plans of where yeah. you thought you'd be at the end of the year? This is ahead of where I, <laughs> it's everything. Okay. I, I can only go up. <laughs> Absolutely. Do you, do you think it, it, that, in, I mean, obviously, you know, weird circumstances of the fact that Mika right now got pushed back to money and obviously you and your sister already have a trip plan and stuff, but do you, I mean, and I know you guys put in, a, you know, hard work out this week, but do you think it was kind of a blessing in disguise that you didn't have that race on Monday? Yeah, I do because the longer I go without competing, the more excited I get because I'm just itching to get out there and put my thoughts on and really just push myself. So since I had missed it, I just felt like I was felt extra competitive and just extra ready. But uh, he'll be going up here right now. Uh, I mean, uh, to, to, to be, uh, how we get there, how like your brother said, I mean, to, to, to be up there and, and, and to be with those girls. I mean, you've always performed so well in, in lead, but do you think that this was kind of a benchmark for you? To, not just in terms of the time, but because of, uh, I mean, you did so well at Woodbridge, and then this just kind of even goes another level beyond in terms of, I mean, because you beat some outstanding boys, Brett, and sophomores at the so mile mark. Does this five ten take your like your confidence level and your belief level uh, up even uh, another notch beyond Woodbridge and Clovis? Oh, it definitely does. Because this is my first year running, like running really well this year. Right. So now I feel that much more confident that I I haven't just beat girls in our league, but uh, girls that I'm going to be competing in at CF finals. Exactly. So I'm really happy to finally run one of my best races ever. Well, uh, what would, uh, I mean, you said that, you, I mean, PR, I mean, anything under 18 would, uh, would, would have been Anything under 18, I would have been happy. <laughs> anything around 1745, I would have been overjoyed. Okay. And then and I didn't so, expect yeah. anything under 1745. Exactly. I know I asked you uh, immediately afterward, but sophomore boys, yeah, so much appreciation and respect for your competition and stuff. The like switchbacks, that. you'll see them behind 50G in a bit. What, what words does Chelsea use to talk about Sarah's performance? My mind does not even understand how fast she ran. I'm so I have so much respect for her. It's just overwhelming how well she did today. It's exciting to say that I was in the same race, even if I wasn't even nearly close to her. <laughs> I can say one day I was in the race that the girl ran 16 minutes. Exactly. <laughs> Do, is it, I mean, people used to talk about all the time, like uh, like with Jordan to say, you know, that it's just like we just let her run her race and then we, and we don't even worry about that. And it's, I mean, is, is, I mean, you've had some chances uh, to be in like sweepstakes type formats with, uh, with her, especially when they were in Division Two you know, last year. But is that is that easy for you to do, just to be able to just kind of block her out and just compartmentalize and just worry about Chelsea and worry about the rest of the people in the race? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I I try to be realistic, but still have really high goals. Of but she's definitely I don't worry about her. She's okay. gonna do what she's gonna do, and I'm just gonna run my race. Okay.